Hi, my name is Samuel Aaron Ward. I'm an electrical engineer and I'm a recent graduate of the West Virginia University Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm going to show you my embedded system project, which is a thermostatic uh, controller. It's a complete embedded system design that, uh, here I'll show it to you. Let's see. Okay, this is it. Uh, basically, we have a, an enclosed box here with a thick plexiglass lid and uh, inside is the heating element from an iron and uh, inverted and when it's plugged in it will uh, it will heat up the air inside the box and if you can see right here is a thermistor uh, which stands for thermal resistor uh, its resistance value decreases as the temperature increases also here you see a thermometer. Now, when we uh, demonstrated this project for the class, uh, we had a digital thermometer in here, but my uh, one of my teammates took that home with him, and all I had that would fit was a uh, meat thermometer here. So what happens is uh, basically a real simple voltage divider circuit uh, with this thermistor, and the voltage across the thermistor will change as the heat inside the box increases and when it, then it goes through a simple A to D converter which is part of this uh, board here and uh, when it reaches a certain temperature then the uh, the fans here on the ends of the box will kick on and uh, they will force air across cooling the thermistor and when it decreases to a certain value uh, it'll kick back off, it'll kick the fans off. So we have a temperature range somewhere between, uh, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, you can, with the LCD display here and these push buttons, uh, you're, the user is prompted for uh, a minimum and maximum temperatures, a, a range that you wanna keep the, uh, whatever machinery or whatever you're, uh, keeping a, a temperature uh, constant on here and uh, and that's that so uh, it looks like I'm missing the wires to uh, plug this up I need to go get those so that's it